Hello everyone, welcome to the truck driver guy. Guys, before you don't watch this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please wake this channel up. Guys, please wake this channel up. Because uh, as you guys can see, uh, my videos pretty much, pretty much are dead at the moment. I don't have any views. I barely have any views, as you guys can see. So in order for us to wake up the channel, guys, in order for us to wake up the channel, we need likes, share, comments, bells, everything, everything and beyond. So guys, please give, give me that big thumbs up. Uh, show me that you are active. Show for the YouTube algorithm that you are active. Guys, please, let's make it happen. So guys, uh, I am the truck driver guy. And guys, I just want to uh, show you guys uh, pretty much how I celebrate my birthday. Uh, yes, guys, this is how we celebrate. This is how truck drivers celebrate their birthdays. This is how we pretty much celebrate Thanksgiving. This is how we uh, celebrate Christmas, New Year and all the holidays and uh, yeah guys this is a reality uh it's kind of raining right now it's kind of cold but but guys it is what it is and uh i'm just showing you guys real life of a truck drivers of a truck drivers as you guys can see there's not a lot of truck drivers right now on the road because of the covid and because of all the situation that is going on but guys i am not afraid i'm still driving and you as you guys can see there is still a lot of drivers who's on the road and we are driving we pretty much bringing you your candies your toilet paper your other food and uh and uh, <laughs> and basically yeah i mean see we're like a family you know i don't even know this guy and he he was really polite he said hi to me and um so yeah guys uh anyway guys uh, uh i'm pretty much celebrating my birthday again i am not complaining guys i am thankful i am not complaining uh i also went home for probably i was home probably for like two or three hours on my birthday so it's actually was pretty good for me because uh i wasn't supposed to be home so i actually made it home for a couple hours and then i went back on the road because i had to do delivery so so yeah guys as you can see uh, uh, uh some people are buying uh range rovers probably people who's making money online like for example one of my friends he got the school online He's making good money. Some of my friends, uh, some of the people that I know, they're making money online from other sources. Some people invest money, some people trade, some people buy and sell. So there is a lot of things that people are doing and uh, you don't have to really be like home home and uh, be out of job. You can actually do something online all you have to do have a uh, have a computer have a uh, maybe cell phone and uh, just start making money and um, and yeah guys this is the this is the situation this is the situation the guy was making video of me also uh, he's probably making a video of me and he he's probably uh, telling to his subscribers that oh look at this guy He's walking while it's raining. Yeah, guys, I am walking while it's raining. Right now it's raining, but I don't really care. And uh, it is what it is. Uh, good morning. It is what it is, guys. And um, just sharing, just sharing my day with you guys. Just sharing my day with you guys. Please, guys, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Comment below the video. Give me as many shares, likes as possible because I would really appreciate it. We need to wake the channel up because at this moment, uh, the Truck Driver Guy YouTube channel is pretty much dead and we need to wake this channel up, guys. 
so I pretty much need like like I remember some of my videos have over 10,000 likes on just one video over 10,000 likes now I get like five or ten likes guys please be as much involved as possible if you're watching this video just smash that like button I mean it doesn't cost you anything but it's gonna mean uh, a little bit to me because uh, if I gonna get like 20 50 hundred thousand likes on my videos then channel gonna be active and like I said guys I promise I will make better videos for you guys so please wake the channel up for me uh do it like a like a birthday present for me <laughs> i really appreciate you guys here is the king of the road a lot of yeah you know guys let me tell you something about peter build uh why not many uh, people drive peter build because peter build is like a like a ferrari for example you can you can drive a honda civic right you can drive a honda civic uh, uh, from point A to point B and you're gonna spend certain amount on gas but if you're gonna uh, drive Ferrari you're still gonna drive from point A to point B but you're gonna spend a lot more in gas same thing here diesel takes a lot more a lot more uh, diesel than Volvo does like Volvos can, can take like seven or eight sometimes even nine miles to the gallon this beautiful kink of the road can sometimes take anywhere from like two two and a half to maybe five gallons uh five miles to the gallon so guys this 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 um uh, this beautiful creation is pretty expensive it's pretty expensive guys l let me put it this way of course it's a lot more safer i mean look at this look at this look at this nose i mean this is i mean of course guys but again this is like you're driving a ferrari this is like you're driving a ferrari for example this uh, uh vehicle let me call it vehicle right this is international so international guys well i mean if you ever own international you know what i'm talking about this piece of equipment is pretty much uh, I mean, well, guys, let's not talk about this. Uh, uh, well, you can't even compare those two things, to be honest. This is kind of like uh, comparing a bicycle and comparing a, uh, I don't know, like a um, Boeing 747 or something, you know. You can't even compare those things. Like Freightliner, is, it's okay, Freightliner. Lots of Swift trucks. I mean, look at this. Like a lot of Swift trucks, but like, but like, um, if you compare, if you compare a Freightliner versus Peterbilt, I mean, guys, like I said, Peterbilt is the king of the road. Freightliners are the nice trucks, you know, nice trucks. Volvos are pretty nice trucks, you know. In my opinion, for driving, and if you don't want to, like, if you don't want to go bankrupt and stuff like it's good to have a uh volvo because volvo it's a nice truck it's quiet it's peaceful if you want to have troubles and you know if you want your shop to uh, if you want your truck to be in a shop all day long you can buy international it's pretty cheap truck you can buy it for like close to nothing but this truck is going to be in a shop pretty much half of the year if not all year so you're pretty much gonna make payments and they're gonna repair your truck and you barely gonna be on the road because it's always gonna break down i don't know why it's actually it's an international and another inter international i know so many people and there is so many reviews on the internet where people are complaining about international you can go like just google international breakdowns like international semi truck breakdowns there's so much like so many people are crying because you know because i mean guys uh i don't know th those trucks those trucks wasn't made made so so nice peter built amazing truck but it's very expensive i mean you have to pretty much make like crazy money in order to afford peter build if you see a driver if you see a driver who if you see a driver who uh, drives peter build 
it's most likely like a friend of the owner or owner of the company. There's not a lot of people, regular drivers who drives Peterbilt Classics. They, they, they might drive like a Peterbilt, kind of like a newer version Peterbilt, but not Peterbilt with the long nose. Not many drivers uh, drive it, you know, unless, like I said, unless if it's an owner or if it's a, uh, well, if it's a, like a pretty good friend of the owner. As you guys can see, I'm standing on the cat scale. This is where we weight ourselves. Uh, well, not ourselves, but the trucks. This is where we weight our, our trucks. Uh, yeah, guys. Well, it's, it's fine. As you can see right here, there is a um, truck pilot truck that brings diesel to the truck stop nice nice piece of equipment very advanced again guys let's see let's see this is probably a freight liner yeah this is a freight liner see i mean freight liner freight liners it's a nice trucks it's a nice working trucks parts are cheap a lot cheaper than volvo actually i mean this is actually good working horse you know, good working truck, guys. Good working truck. Yeah. Well, guys, but let me let me tell you something about this kind of vehicles. This is an old ancient dinosaur. Basically, this is a freight liner. But this guy, he is not running ELDs. He is running a paper locks. Like I said, this is a dinosaur, guys. This is a truck that used to be on the road in like 90s or 80s or, you know, early 2000s. This is a dinosaur, guys. And, uh, and yeah, guys, this kind of vehicles, if your truck is this old, you can drive and use paper locks yes guys you can use paper locks guys so um this is something for you to know if you're a new driver you can actually use paper locks but again do you want to drive this kind of vehicle that is about not a thousand years old but a lot of years old well it's up to you you know this is pretty much what your grand this is this is what your grandfather would drive so i mean guys like i said i don't have nothing against these trucks this truck is actually very good on repairs because all the parts is pretty much cheap and it's almost never breaks the the good thing about it it doesn't doesn't have any like uh any sensors and because it doesn't have any sensors your breakdown time is almost close to none all it is is engine and transmission everything else is not breakable you know it's probably gonna take like 10 years for something to break here or 15 years and if you do like a like an engine repair here or engine like if you repair the whole engine then uh, it's probably gonna be good for another million or two million miles so guys this is a good uh good thing about this truck for example you buy this truck let's say forty thousand dollars right you will never you will almost never spend any money on repairs versus these trucks you buy these trucks for like 120 150 180 thousand and sometimes you're your your <laughs> your truck is gonna be in the shop for like two or three months a year so yeah it's comfortable guys but do you really want to um i mean guys it's comfortable i mean yeah i mean most of the companies they do that <laughs> so <laughs> yeah because not, not not a lot of drivers would want to drive this ancient piece of equipment i mean it's it's an amazing truck guys it's amazing truck it's a freight liner i don't know what year it is but probably like in somewhere like 
pretty old vehicle, but uh, it, it never breaks. So it never breaks. So this is the good thing about it. This new trucks, this new trucks, so many sensors, lots of, we spent lots of time in the shop. You drive a check engine, some ELD lights, some other lights, some other lights, some other sensor, other sensor, so many sensors, guys. So anyway, guys, it was really nice talking to you guys. God bless you. Please give me this thumbs up. Please share this video with your friends. Do as many likes as possible, guys. I would really appreciate it, guys. And uh, until next time, guys, like I said, I will do my best to make as many videos as possible. God bless you guys and keep on trucking.